Cities on the front line of the migrant surge at the border are now pushing Washington for more action. Ten mayors of Cochise County have sent a letter to the White House. 13 News reporter Emily Miranda spoke with some of those mayors about what they want Washington, D.C. to know about the border situation. It affects those little things that I think Washington, D.C. doesn't understand that that's life on the border. City of Douglas Mayor Donald Hewish says the time to act on this situation was months ago. Now small border communities are suffering because of Washington's inaction. If they're unwilling to close the border down, then they have to provide resources to uh, help in this situation. The Cochise County mayors I spoke to say the current problems are the street releases and the relocation of Border Patrol to help with processing, leaving holes along the border. Mayor Hewish says the relocation has taken a toll on their economy. Our crossing times have been delayed significantly, uh, so that affects uh, our ability to be able to carry on normal commerce, tourism, uh, we here in Douglas depend on the uh, buying power of our neighbors to the south. A fear they are now facing is funding starting to run low. What the problem will be for me is if we start getting street releases because the money runs out for the buses to move them, you know, up to some place where they can move on. Um, then they're going to start getting the load cars. Mayor Hewish says they have put aside $100,000 in a rainy day fund to help primarily with transportation. But once federal dollars dries up, they will be left to rely on those funds. You know, $100,000 out of a rainy day fund may not seem a lot to, to some people, but for us it is. I mean, that, that could be spent in many other areas in our community. Many are hoping the federal government steps up soon to help with the situation they have let get to this point. Mayors Hewish and Budge agree that the first step should be fixing processing times. They need a hearing within the next two weeks. They don't need a hearing five years from now. And so of all this money we're wasting and throwing at this problem, if we just stood up enough judges. Some of the mayors also tell me they have had community groups who have volunteered to help out, but their resources are also being pushed to the limit. Reporting in Tucson, Emily Miranda, 13 News.